The ones at his base were destroyed easily. These ones are no good. Now he's coming back, and because his tanks were up front, they're arriving last. So I can just strip these units away piecemeal as they arrive. Control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid here. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer game on Blitz Map for you and I'm using Russia, my opponent's using France and a couple of the replays I'm going to show have got some uh, bit of early game engineer hunting and some early game sort of tactics for you just a couple of basics and stuff to show um, and as usual I'm sending riflemen here and there but on this map there are um, a lot of these uh, neutral capture, capturable buildings, they are spread out quite a lot. Now I've sent a couple of guys straight to the central oil derrick and my opponent's going for that. So he's sent nearly all his guys, in fact he has, including his engineer. But um, a rifleman of mine attacking from another direction, say from above, would have caught that engineer, so you need to be careful. But I've sent a few rifles to the bottom and a few rifles up here with my engineer. And I believe I'm safe there because I don't, I'm not expecting him to send a lot of rifles. But if he does, these guys will spot it. But now they've secured the engineer on his way to that oil derrick, I'm expecting my opponent to move straight to the nearest neutral structure, which is the hospital. So these guys have caught that engineer and sniped him easily. Now they have to group together with this, what looks like 10 riflemen I've got, to make a decent group. Now he's sent four six rifles up here to attack this oil derrick by the looks of it but it'll take them a while rifles do very little damage but he's actually placed his rifles in front of the oil derrick now i wouldn't expect that i would expect them behind it that's that's why i've sent my rifles behind so he's actually in the perfect position to take me on and he's got rifles both sides of me now And he's cut the top half of my army away, but I'm both sides of him now. And as he's advancing, that's taken away his advantage. And I'm too many. I'm keeping my engineer away until the fighting's over. But now I've got rocket troops arriving. And he's still attacking. Look, these rifles have destroyed that oil derrick now. Yep. I've destroyed it, but I'm taking this one away from the enemy, so he's got one. We had one each, now he's just got one. But in a matter of seconds, I've taken it away, now I've got one. So uh, you need to gain the advantage over your opponent as early as you can in oil derricks. Take them away, destroy them and take them yourself, whatever. Just make sure you've got more if possible. But I've sent my APC because I saw that he used rifles to destroy this oil derrick. So I knew he had no rockets in that group. So I thought, well, it's a free bunch of infantry I can kill. So I sent my scout vehicle straight for it. And now I'm securing, escorting my engineer while he takes the hospital. Now, I have left the central oil derrick vulnerable. <clears throat> Excuse me, so he's now attacking it. But he's only using rifles and a ranger, so I'm going to respond to that. I'm close enough. I don't want to lose that. That's the main contestable oil derrick, so my ranger can just... I mean, my APC can just move straight in there. The enemy ranger's no match for my APC. And I've cut off the few retreating soldiers, look. There you go. My engineer is still safely, safely behind my troops. But no one's got the southern oil, Derek. But I thought uh, I'd move, move forward a bit. Um, but this is a mistake, I think, because I, I did manage to catch these rocket troops, though, so that's all right. But this, I don't have enough rocket soldiers in this group. Yeah, I've got, like, a couple... So, they can take on a power plant, because the rifles will do it. And I've got this to screen my stuff, but I notice I can't, I don't want to lose this, so I'm backing away, and then I get tempted by this ore truck, and my opponent places a turret, and the second shot finishes my APC. So I was gutted about that. I'm bringing more units up, and my engineer's a bit vulnerable, but I saw the ore truck again, and it really tempted me. So my couple of rocket soldiers are firing away and it escaped, so I'm retreating. 
but my opponent's placing base defensive to chase me and he's splattered my I've got one rocket soldier left there so it didn't work out very well uh, I took out his power plant so let's see but he's not in low power he's fine so yeah that wasn't very good I could have lost them all you know it wasn't a smart move to attack like that you can find yourself even if you have the advantage if you move uh, forward like that you can suddenly lose a screening vehicle or something or a couple of rockets and find yourself with a group of infantry that are completely vulnerable and useless stuck at the front line you know it's uh, it's not good you need to need to have all the elements and cover yourself before you commit But my opponent appears to be... Yeah, he's guarding his uh, expansion here. And he's going for the jewels. I don't blame you. I've sent a couple of ore trucks to go long distance mining for the jewels. That's uh, how I decided to deal with them this time. I w I'd rather expand forward. I can, um, you know, uh, place, uh, I place a refinery next to the jewels if I want to, whenever... But I've got a few tanks here now at the front line and enough infantry and I'm placing a forward base push but I'm not attacking yet, I'm just securing the area because last time I played this opponent I actually used allies and because I wasn't as, um, you know, I wasn't as trained as like on form as I am at the moment, I'm a little more on form and um, I was using allies so I'm not as good as them with, with allies as I am with Russia and the game went on for quite a while, it was a right brawl and uh, it was on this map against his opponent. It was a really good game. And in fact, my opponent gave up because he thought he'd lost it when he'd actually just started to turn it around. But he couldn't like he didn't want it. Couldn't go on. Basically, it was like it was a slugfest. And luckily, he broke. He blinked first. Luckily, but here we go. My opponent's moving forward, and he did take out an infantryman, which is why I've moved these units here. So I'm between where I saw him and my base in case he attacks. But now he's moved for the centre to take out that oil derrick. And now I'm attacking here. And I'm protecting my base over this side. But I'm attacking here, destroying what assets I can. And look, that range has got straight back into the battle. And I can destroy enemy units as they arrive piecemeal. The ones at his base were destroyed easily. These ones are no good. Now he's coming back, and because his tanks were up front, they're arriving last. So I can just strip these units away piecemeal as they arrive. You see that? Look at, you know, just wiping them out as they arrive bit by bit. I've got no hope. Just the same with these guys. Kill them piecemeal as they arrive, and that's the end of that. And it was a very different story to what happened last time. It was, like I say, it was a slugfest big time slugfest that was so um that you got the drift for that one the basics it's i've got the choke hold in effect and i'm pushing forward here i've got my engineer resetting the capture bar and i've got thieves infiltrating um my opponent's not going to be able to earn any money but um there's the uh, earnings i mean there's the army graph earnings Um, finishing army. I killed 109, my opponent killed 50. It was a brief game, very different to what happened last time. Like I say, I'm building an airfield. Um, I earned 40, uh, 61,000, my opponent earned 43,000. I was at 31 actions per minute, my opponent was at 33. But I'm going to show a brief bit of a, an early game with an engineer snipe. And it's actually, where, and the engineers are well protected. It's just, it shows you which angles to actually attack from. And, uh, you know, even when an engineer is well protected, you learn to move around a map and where to place your rifles. And this is Timian. This is one of my favourite maps. So I do like this one. And I, you get an idea of the timing. Like, I send my first engineer here. And because um, it's safe, it takes a while for an enemy unit to be able to move around the edges of the map or, you know, to get round behind there. So the engineer's fairly safe. And then I secure my oil derrick. But I send the first four rifles and I like to send one rifle towards the middle in case the enemy has got all their units here and the engineer is moving up behind. 
But my opponent sent his engineer straight to the forward oil derrick. He didn't capture this one first, so that would have altered the timing. Now, my central rifle going to the centre of his production line, he got caught. So he's responded and moving closer to look for other rifles while this guy is patiently waiting on the other side. And he just catches the engineer. Lovely little snipe look. And now the opponent's reacting. And I can move away my rifles because I know he's hunting for uh, engineer hunters. But I'm going to send this one in case he trains another engineer straight away and this guy can wait. So uh, I'm capturing my second oil, Derek, because I did it properly. And because uh, you see, he had his uh, um, build queue over here when his engineer came out. And here we go. That's my last engineer hunter. He's been taken out. So that's the end of that. Um, we are training rocket soldiers now. So that little bit of um, hunting engineers has basically meant I've got two oil derricks, my opponent's got none. So you can see, it's and I've killed a, a unit of his, and you can easily end up killing a second engineer, and it can get frustrating for your opponent and demoralising and they know they're at a disadvantage and that they've wasted credits and stuff like that so it's a, an excellent way of fighting now i'm moving this way thinking he might be protecting his oil derrick i know he w unlikely to have captured it but you know i'm thinking about his position and i've got my apc up front he hasn't got many uh, rockets but he's got enough one and i didn't notice there was another but i've overrun his position and I'm sending my engineer in. Now his scout vehicle's too late. He should have pulled back because he had no... There you go, I've destroyed the scout vehicle. And that's that, basically. So, um, <coughs> you know, that's just sometimes happens like that. You get a bad start. But the uh, third game I want to show you is this one. Uh, when it comes to engineer hunting. And this one's on Woodlands map. And I've started to use this a bit more often lately, as Woodlands. And I'm using Russia and my opponent's using Ukraine for this one. Now, um, I do, I've mentioned before, I like to send my uh, first rifles to hunt engineers. And I like to go around these two oil derricks, obviously, but between them. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, I like to capture this one first. But whether the opponent catches this one or this one, they usually move between the oil derricks with an engineer. Now, it just so happens in this particular occasion, my opponent wanted to build a load of engineers as a tactic to try early. But I caught this one straight away. <coughs> Excuse me. And I wondered what was going on because I saw I've got a veteran. But I've got a rifleman waiting there. Now, my opponent did the smart thing. He's waiting because he knows I've got rifles close. So he's sent these guys ahead. Now, that's excellent. <clears throat> and he's detonating barrels. That's really good because he's held his engineer back. Now, look how close I am. <clears throat> so uh, I was very close to destroying that engineer. Very close. Look, I was like a second or two too slow looking for him. Because I know he's not here. I've been waiting for him. But he's there capturing. He snuck past me, which is excellent. <clears throat> now, my opponent sent those two engineers, look. They're off on this mad mission, and he did explain that he um, he'd done it against another player and trained five by accident, and but they actually had a useful effect. He did something with them, and they they were effective. So he just it was explained why he did that, and explained that uh, on another occasion it, it was actually effective. It helped. But he's training more rifles, and I've still got my rifleman here, and one stood there. But these two engineers are there, look. And I'm moving my rifleman forward, looking for an engineer, because I'm wondering where they are, and I got him shot in the back. So I've taken care of that engineer, and I also know the enemy is not there. Now, look, here's his two engineers going on an early capture mission. And here he goes, but I've, my basic positioning deals with that. Even if I'm not, and I'm in position to take care of engineers moving around the edge of the map, it's just because he did it so early, he snuck past me. I've still got this guy in place, and this guy. So I am aware that he hasn't taken that one, plus I've killed his engineer. But here we go, he's sent rifles to attack this. 
Well, because I've got my scout vehicle, that's no problem. So he's wise to back up into the view range of that oil derrick. I often do that myself. Retreat to the view range of your oil derrick if you find yourself in a difficult situation. I'm still waiting in case he decides to train an engineer and go for that oil derrick. I'm still waiting for him. And eventually I will use these as scout infantry and just move them through the base on move command. And uh, I didn't see those engineers when I played the game. So I, at this point, I'm asking, why do I have veterans at the back of my base? And uh, it's because I didn't know it was those engineers. But the standard setup of my base dealt with them without me needing to know. That's the whole point. And he's explaining now that he sent some engineers, look. And I didn't even know. And they snuck past my engineer, my guards, look. Because he did it early enough. But the point was that I didn't even know he'd done that. And my standard setup dealt with it. So it just shows you that it is a sound basic build order. It's sound. He's killed one guy there. One rifle guard. And I've got this one still making sure that he hasn't um, sent anyone for the oil, Derek. And I want to capture this one as well myself. Because I know if I can take a, this forward oil, Derek, he's in a big... Uh, trouble money wise and it's a nice forward outpost and here we go I didn't want to move too close so he could completely see my forces in his view range although it's he can see them anyway but yeah he's going for a snipe look just got my engineer just in time so that was a nice little snipe so he's done some engineer hunting of his own so good good for him and i destroyed this one and now i've destroyed it there's nothing here to hold there's nothing no point in my units being here so get out of there straight away and i'm falling back to my oil derrick look just like i was talking about earlier <coughs> excuse me but i've just sent this rifle like i mentioned as a rifle scout to go and reveal what's happening in the enemy base. My opponent's got his vehicle there, an APC. And there you go, look. I'll be revealing what's what assets my opponent's got. There you are, there's a little bit of it. And he's sending a few rifles. I'd just send the uh, APC, but then again, it, it could do with a few rifles around here, and here, and here, and here. Anyway... Yeah, you see, look, I'm sending rifles. And um, these guys, positioned in places like this, they're useful for when you're moving around the map later. Then you can uh, send these ahead to, uh, skirt, to scout for your forces that are moving around. And if you do have randomly placed rifles here and there, they can then be used to move ahead, say, later in the game. Here we go, we've got an attack. And... They're cutting through my troops with a nice formation, but now my tank is soaking up a lot of gunfire. Yeah, I couldn't get him out of firing range quick enough. Enough missiles struck it at once. But now, you see, I'm moving my tanks up and down the front line. So when they start targeting my tanks, what I'm doing is keeping them moving to avoid certain amounts. You avoid certain types of damage, a little bit of uh, some of certain damage types you avoid while you're moving. Plus... Um, you can move out of the enemy unit's attack range. So if half of their rockets can no longer hit you, your tank is taking a lot less damage, for example. And if it is about to be destroyed, let it move out of their view range and leave it out of their view range. And the thing is then, <clears throat> as long as a unit isn't destroyed, it can still do the same amount of damage. So in that sense, damage they've done can be used against them. You can use, make uh, your opponent damage a heavy tank in battle. And when it gets down to halfway, move it out of the enemy's attack range and let them attack the rest of your tanks up front. And uh, in, that sen in that sense, the damage they're doing is being wasted. Because it's just time they're attacking while they're being destroyed and attacked in return. And you move the tank before it's destroyed and let another one soak up the damage and move the next one before it's destroyed. And those two tanks that have moved can still fire and do as much damage as a full health tank. It just, you want them screened so they're not taking the direct fire. So that's why it's often handy to let your tanks move up and down the front line. Because then you can let them move out of combat when before they die. 
when uh, they get to low health. Here you go, got some flamethrowers and stuff on scene, destroying the ore trucks, but my tanks are in a nice position. I can destroy the enemy response piecemeal, look. He's got, he's got very little, but I've retaken this. My opponent did capture it um, with a few units, a bit of investment, but I have, uh, I've captured it myself. I've taken it from him, and there's another attack at this side. So there you go. That's the basics for explaining some early game tactics and engineer hunting and things. So um, there's a few little examples there for you. I hope you like what you saw. I'm going to go through the uh, basic graphs and charts for you quickly. See, the earnings look about equal until minute seven. Um, my finishing army is, is average, standard little force. And as it is at the moment, it's nearly over, but I've killed 120, my opponent's killed 59. And he's called it now. Um, support powers, none in effect at, at the moment. I don't think I have a radar dome either. Um, no, I'm building an airfield, so I must have a radar dome. There we go, I must have just placed it. So yeah, just getting the tech assets. I earned 69,000, my opponent earned 41,000. I've got seven oil directs. I mean, oil, oil trucks by the looks of it. I'm at 24 actions per minute. My opponent is, was that 37? Yeah, 37 actions per minute. We've both got a few grand of cash each. I've got five, my opponent's got four, so that's not bad. But um, there you go, it was just like I say, to show you the basics and a few uh, bits of early game tactics, engineer hunting. So, um, I, like I say, I hope you like what you saw. If you do, give us a sub and a like. And as always, take good care of yourselves. And until next time, goodbye. Battle control terminated.